on to the Super League that became such a headline a couple of seasons ago, David. We haven't heard a lot about it since, but it's now back in the headlines today. What's the story? What a day this has been and pretty historic for European football. You will remember April 2021 when the Super League launched. No sooner had it launched than it collapsed and UEFA FIFA were threatening sanctions against those 12 teams who joined six from the Premier League and the proposed European Super League took their case to the European Court of Justice and said the fact that we're not allowed to set up that clubs are being threatened with bans is a breach of competition law. And today, the European Court of Justice has ruled that, yes, banning clubs from joining a different competition is a breach of competition law. And on that point of principle, we have today's story. And that is that you can launch a competition. And they actually criticised UEFA in the European Court of Justice by saying they are abusing their dominant position as the uh, organisation that sets up these competitions, that regulates them, that administers punishments, that decides on commercial and television rights. Essentially, it wasn't happy with the monopoly that has formed. And that has given the Super League a new lease of life, a glimmer of light that they could form a competition at some point. Immediately, they unveiled plans, a, a, a 64-team tournament uh, for the men, a 32-team tournament for the women. They said they've got plenty of clubs who are supporting this. But UEFA, FIFA, Premier League hit back immediately. They said, uh, we have uh, amended our historic issues uh, in, in UEFA law that has the European Court of Justice has been critical of. We are now in the right shape. We uh, are complying with all regulations and we are all sticking together. The Champions League will remain in its current form. Nobody is breaking away. And crucially for the English teams, uh, they can't really break away because the British government is bringing in legislation uh, in the new year that will stop them from joining rebel competitions. But today does raise the prospect of something perhaps developing even if it's only on the continent in the future? And will the authorities have to dance with the devil in this sense and form some alliance at some point? Will there be a tournament starting up in places like Saudi Arabia with all the money that is on offer there? We don't know what the future will hold on that front. Uh, for now, UEFA will say that they've won and the status quo continues. The proposed Super League will say they've won and it really creates a lot of uncertainty and intrigue around the future of European football. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.